so I thought I would just show you this image uh, to kind of uh, really demonstrate what we're looking for in esophageal carcinoma. Uh, as you can see, this area here is the carcinoma, uh, and you can really see uh, the amount of stricture that it's leaving uh, the patient with. Uh, being right here and so uh, it's pretty much closing off everything so food is going to have a very difficult time passing through uh, and so uh, that's typically what we're looking for in terms of CT as well so what we're looking for is a regular thickening of the wall of the esophagus more than three millimeters also intraluminal polypoid mass uh, potentially seen and then dilatation of the esophagus above the arrow, uh, the area of narrowing. And so, uh, uh, typically, uh, I like to use the analogy of a water hose that is actually clamped off. If you were to allow the water hose with enough pressure and you clamped it off here, and so this is your water hose, and you clamp it off here, or you restrict the flow, uh, let's not clamp it completely off, but let's impede the flow by around 95%. And so we only allow just a small area to actually go through. Uh, your water is still coming down this way. And if you don't watch it, you have a very weak hose. You will actually enlarge or dilate the rest of the holes uh, simply because of the stricture here. And so... If you were to eat a lot of food and uh, have this stricture and you kept doing it and doing it and doing it, you would potentially uh, dilate the rest of the esophagus because um, it has to go somewhere and uh, it's only being allowed down small portions at a time. So uh, this is a, a very, very uh, indicative image of what esophageal carcinoma looks like. Uh, number one, we're still at the sternum here. And so, um, remember we said that pain behind, or, or retrosternal pain. And so that means pain behind the sternum. And so uh, that kind of fits here. Also, we have uh, the descending aorta here. And so those are some structures just to keep in mind. And notice where uh, the esophagus actually lies. The esophagus is usually uh, to the side, to the right side of the descending aorta. And so if we say that this area here is the esophagus, uh, then it becomes more impressive to actually see what is going on. Here is the lumen on the inside, and the rest is thickening of the wall. And so, uh, with this being thickening of the wall, we actually see that it's very, very thick and creating a very narrow space for the patient to actually swallow things down and to get them to the stomach. So, if we had the capabilities to measure, we would see that this wall is probably around 4 millimeters or greater. And because of this, uh, very, very indicative of esophageal carcinoma. This one is even more horrifying uh, just based on what we're seeing here. Uh, this is the esophagus. And this is the inner lumen. And we see that this is a huge mass surrounding the esophagus or on the esophagus. So very detrimental to the patient's health. Uh, probably resulting in a very poor prognosis um, and it, it's almost unlikely that surgical resection could be performed uh, based on this. Uh, we also have to see that we have some contrast enhancement. See there, there's kind of these this speckled appearance. Uh, that's typically what we're looking for uh, with contrast enhancement. That means that various portions of the tumor has actually had enhancement indicating that there is uh, a great deal of blood flow there, uh, highly vascular, and so based on all of these things, it, it could be a very poor prognosis for the patient as well. Um, based on the patient's bone density, 
uh, and everything. We still have pretty decent bone density, uh, so it's presumable that this patient is not as old as what we might presume. And based on that, uh, it's very unfortunate for this patient. Uh, here's another example. Uh, once again, notice that we have the sternum here and here's the esophagus. So a uh, retrosternal pain could possibly be uh, present in this patient. We see that we have the wall being very thick and the lumen being very narrow. So based on that, uh, this patient does have esophageal carcinoma as well. Uh, maybe a slight degree of enhancement here, uh, but... Uh, I'm sure pain and difficulty swallowing are, are some of the classic symptoms for this patient.